Buongiorno! I'm Kat with Layout Escapes. Now, if you've been hearing about some of our Italy tours uh, from some of your friends, or you saw a short promotional video on social media, and you had some questions but didn't want to necessarily dive in and read through everything on the website, well, this video is for you. It's a little long, but it's going to answer a lot of your questions. So we offer two types of tours in Italy. Our signature track and tour in Italy is 10 days long and features one day of track time with Ducati on a Panigale on either Mizzano or Mugello circuit. And the other is a tour and race, which features two days at MotoGP with reserved seating, reserved parking and all that fun stuff. The tours themselves are very similar. Uh, the main difference is just the highlight, whether it's uh, MotoGP at Mizzano or Mugello or uh, track time at Mizzano or Mugello. Okay, so how is a Laetoscapes tour different than some other motorcycle tour in Italy? Well, it should be noted that this is not a tourism trip. This is a traveler adventure. Uh, sure, we'll be stopping to see some of the major tourist attractions, but our primary focus is to get you off the beaten path, get you on those twisty back roads, uh, and really help you get in touch with the country that you've come to visit. Uh, and consequently, that means since we're going for those uh, twisty back roads, that means this is not a tour uh, for beginners. This is for intermediate to advanced uh, street riders. And if you're a, a track day rider on the track and tour, you should at least be an intermediate B group rider at your local track days. Now, what this does is this changes the flavor of the tour because the different types of people will come on it. Everybody who's on the tour with you is a MotoGP fan and an intermediate to advanced rider. And on the track and tour, well, everybody is a fellow track rider. And that changes things. It really does. It makes the, the tour group really come together. Uh, so it makes for a special experience and we love that. At Layout Escapes, we're big on authenticity. Whether we're in California, Australia, Spain, the Netherlands, Germany, or Italy, we want you to ride like a local, eat like a local, stay where locals would stay on vacation. If you had a local cousin who was a motorcycle rider, this is where they would take you. The, the touristy stuff that's worth seeing, that, that's where they would take you. The great back roads, that's where they would go. Um, but with Italy, because of Italian culture, we have to go one step further. And that's why we've partnered with Hear the Road Motorcycle Tours and Enrico Grassi. He's our guy in Rome. He finds us the right hotels, the right restaurants, the great roads in between. But Enrico's more than just our Italian logistics guy. He's your introduction to Italian culture. We're international tour operators, so we could do this without Enrico, and you would have a you'd have a great time. But with Enrico on the tour, you get one amazingly authentic experience after another. Uh, we like to say that Leo Escapes is the fine organic handmade pasta in Italy, but Enrico, he's the sauce. Okay, let's cover some of the basics. For your five to eight thousand dollar vacation that lasts nine or ten days, what's included? What do you get? Well, you get three and four star accommodations. You get your street bike. You get your track bike for if you're part of the track and tour package. If you're part of the tour and race, you get two days at MotoGP with reserved seating and reserved parking and a couple of other little goodies we include. Uh, this also includes transfers to and from the airport by private car, also includes your luggage vehicle, your Italian guides, a welcome and farewell dinner are always included, and we include breakfast every day. It's an important meal, you should have it. Now, what's not included? Well, the most important one is airfare. And the reason we don't include airfare is I never know where you're flying from. You could be coming from Canada, Japan, Australia, all over the United States. Also, people have different preferences regarding air carriers or whether or not they want to use their points. But I've worked in international airfare and we book a lot of airfare here at you Layout Escapes. So we've got lots of tips to offer you so you can get a really good deal. Uh, now, the other main thing that's not included is all of your lunches and most of your dinners. And the reason for that is I don't want catered meals for all of those. I want you to order what you want to order. What entices you on the menu? Or often, uh, what does Enrico recommend? That's what a lot of people end up ordering. Uh, fuel for your bike isn't included and uh, tips and but tipping isn't really a thing in Italy so you're fine 
okay, what type of riding gear should you bring? What type of weather should you expect? Well, in Italy, when we go, expect a warm, wet summer. That means bring vented gear and a rain oversuit for the occasional thunder shower. We always get rained on at least once, usually for a short period of time. Uh, when it comes to track gear on the track and tour, uh, we recommend that you bring your own gear. Even though there are some really nice Denise suits available for rent, uh, why take a chance on uh, gear not fitting properly when you've come so far away to ride this special track? Uh, so usually what happens is we encourage our clients to pack their track gear in a separate bag and then we leave that bag inside the luggage vehicle until the track day and then Franco just pulls it out for you. So what type of bikes can you ride on our Italy tours? Uh, well, there's a broad array of BMWs and Ducatis and one Moto Guzzi, uh, a V7. Obviously, uh, some models uh, cost more to rent than others. Uh, we don't make any money off that. We just you know, pass the cost right through because we really want you to ride what, what you want to ride, what gets you excited, what makes you feel comfortable. Uh, so on the Ducati side, uh, Ducati Scrambler, Ducati Monster, Ducati Multistrada, and Ducati Supersport. On the BMW side, my favorite, the BMW S1000XR. Of course, the standard R1200GS is available. Uh, the larger RT is available. Uh, the good bike for shorter riders is the R1200R. And the bargain bike uh, that a lot of sport riders really enjoy uh, is the F800R. Okay, so what's it like? Well, as any of our clients will tell you who have been on our Australia, Spain, Germany, California, and Italy tours, video, photos, words, just, just never do it justice. But, but we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna show you some, uh, some interview bits uh, from some of our clients uh, along with some video and give you an idea. Ah, oh, man, it was a time in my life. Man, we uh, hauled ass, uh, really good pace, enjoyed ourselves, and uh, everybody made it here safely. It was a great time. Okay, rules for riding on the road in Italy. Don't go through a red traffic light or turn right on a red traffic light. Don't speed past a speed camera and don't park, don't pass a police car that's marked Polizia. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Lines, signs, they're just suggestions. You're going through these small castle towns riding through the original streets of Italy, meeting the locals, drinking with the locals, tasting the local food, being anything that you can dream times it by 10 and that's what you experience. It's, it's unbelievable. Oh, accommodations uh, above and beyond. Uh, if there's five star, they were six stars. Um, the locations of the hotels, for one, were incredible. Uh, the views, 360, um, just so welcoming. The people at the hotels are incredible. Um, again, just can't capture the total experience uh, until you've been here. If you want to like really see something different that you wouldn't get a chance to see elsewhere. It's like everyone knows Italy's great or, or that you want to go there, but to see like the stuff off the beaten path, to really get a feel for, you know, what the slow rolling hills look like and feel like and to follow the curves down, you know, down the mountainsides and, and, and the, the slow rolling hills, is, it's, uh, you're not going to get that, you know, on a tour bus. This is the way you do it. This is probably the most amazing experience I've ever been on. I'm, I'm not blowing smoke, seriously, it was an amazing time. Everything about it was engaging. It was engaging, enthralling, adventurous, social. You experienced things you've never thought you'd ever see in your life. Riding the bikes was outstanding, and then you just meet amazing people. You, the locals, the people on the tour, the guys, everybody was fantastic. The constant twisty roads. There was nothing was straight in this whole seven days. It was all turn after turn after turn, as fast as you want to go. That's the best part. <laughs> Cat can ride really well. You always hear about, you know, like Tuscany, for example, how scenic it is and, until you've got a chance to do it and do it at like a crazy speed. You just have to live. 
<laughs> oh, I love lane splitting. I mean, it's kind of like the forbidden fruit, right? Because where I'm from in Kentucky, you'll go to jail if you pass somebody on the white line. But here it's expected, and the drivers actually help you by moving over to give you room. The, the food here is fantastic. I didn't think, I'm a, I'm a picky eater, I didn't think I would uh, enjoy the food half as much as I did. I don't think I had a single bad meal here and I ate and tried new things and even the things I don't normally eat that I don't like back home uh, I ate here and loved. Well there's some things you just can't capture um, and for us it's the vegetation and the smells, uh, the smell of jasmine, uh, huge patches of rosemary. Um, there's just part of the senses you can't capture on paper or on film. Um, you got to be here. I mean, it, it sounds like a sales pitch, but you got to be here to truly appreciate what this is all about. And it's above and beyond what I expected, honestly. I, I would do it again in a heartbeat. And even showing pictures isn't going to explain it. I don't know what we're going to tell people. It was just amazing. It's amazing. Just get out there and try it for yourself, yeah. you know. And that's and what we tell a lot of people when we go to things because we can never, with words or pictures, do this to our justice that it deserves. So what's the track portion like on the track and tour in Italy? Well, the track and tour is Leoscape's signature tour. We do this all over the world in Australia with Phillip Island, uh, Germany and Zoxenring, uh, Spain and Aragon. We also have the capability of doing uh, Valencia in Spain, the Czech Republic, uh, we do Bruno. We could do the Netherlands in Assen. We could do Chang Circuit in Thailand. We, this is this is what we do. And one of the key things we've discovered is that everyone who's on this tour, if you bring everyone together who's a track rider, it changes the flavor of the entire tour because on the street portion of the tour, you're generally getting faster, safer, smoother street riders as well. Now on all of the other track and tours, we use BMW S1000RRs and we generally do a two-day track day with a local track provider. But for Italy, we wanted to do something special because this is Italy. And if you're in Italy, you want to ride a Ducati Panigale on Mizano or Mugello. And to do that, you have to work with Ducati. Now, thankfully, with a lot of work and negotiations, we've been able to secure from Ducati a deal where we can pre-buy slots on the Ducati ride experience. And this is important because as soon as they release those spots to the general public in Italy, they get snatched up really fast. Uh, so the day of uh, the Ducati ride experience, uh, you're partnered together with three or four other riders with one coach who usually has a pretty impressive racing pedigree. And you'll go out and you'll do lead follow with that coach and uh, they'll get in behind you and do video, come back in, they review that video, work on lines, work on body position. The other cool thing about this is uh, you get some pretty cool celebrity riders that show up to these events. Uh, we've seen... Uh, Carlos Checa, Marco Melandri, Michele Pirro, uh, some pretty serious riders show up to these events. Uh, now another important option uh, for expert riders please, if you are an expert rider at your local track day and or you've had some significant racing experience, you can upgrade to the Panigale V4S on either Mugello or Mazzano. So, uh, what do your fellow track riders have to say about this experience? Uh, Mugello is a fantastic track. The facility is very nice, modern, upkept. Uh, I was a little surprised because some of the other MotoGP class courses that have visited around are a little bit run down. That one's very well maintained. Uh, track surface is immaculate. Runoff areas are huge, so no concerns about pushing a little bit. Uh, it's, a pretty easy track to learn in a short period of time and then you can spend probably the rest of your life trying to master it so doesn't really matter what your skill level is you'll find it challenging and exciting it was almost a religious experience how many races have you watched and classic moves epic moves that happen on that track and you know as again as an american from the flat east to step foot on the property let alone be given a bike like the 959 and, and, and its potential, you know, I've got goosebumps now just thinking about it. You know, everything about that experience was amazing. Not to mention the learning experience, I mean, riding with uh, or being taught by and shadowed by uh, a Ducati factory rider um, and his knowledge of the track. He's been riding it almost his whole life 
and knowing the nuance, knowing exactly you know, where to break, where the line is, and, and learning from a person like that is invaluable. And that was an extraordinary experience. And I can honestly tell you, over the course of five sessions, so what is that, 25 laps maybe, 30 laps around that circuit, um, I've taken away a lot from it. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a rhythm to it. You, it's like a, it's like listening to a song. You do this three beats, and then you're up, and then you're down, and it's almost there's almost no upright part of that track, except for the straightaway. Everything else is a full lean, uh, either uphill or down. It's the best. It's exciting to like to ride on the track that you get that you see in the MotoGP races. The the straight was long and incredible. Um, Great fast sweeping curves. Um, it was fun to, to ride with the real racers, to have you know famous racers pass you, and to actually have an Italian bike on an Italian track. That's what it was made for. Every high speed turn to be able to open that throttle, to feel that twin, to feel that rear end squat down, and just glide through Arboretta one and Arboretta two, and just. Take off. To ride on a track that the that's a sort of shared experience with the MotoGP guys and get just a little taste of uh, of what they do, it's been a bucket list thing for a long time. Uh, you got passed by uh, Marco Melandri. That's okay. <laughs> the coaching and the way they they handled everything was just top notch. Just, I learned a lot, and I definitely learned to get my butt out of the seat. Knee down, first time. On a track, Magello. So what about the tour and race package? What's it like to watch MotoGP at Mugello or Mazzano with layout escapes? Well, one of the things that really shocked us when we went to design this package is we took a look at what other tour operators were offering. And we were blown away by the fact that all other tour operators offered was just a single day and general admission. No, we're MotoGP fans. We know you want to be there for qualifying. You want to be there during race day. You want to soak up the atmosphere and you want good seats and reserved parking. Uh, you also want a well thought out way of getting in and out of the event. And that's where Enrico's pre-planning really shines. Ah, but let's hear what your fellow riders had to say about watching MotoGP in Italy. Um, seeing the crazy Italians do their thing. Uh, you know, they were a definite portion of the experience. Yeah, that's what that's what I came here for. That's what I got. Uh, I partook in it, and it was it was awesome. Before we even saw the spectacle, we were talking about it uh, between races. Some of the some of the group and I were like, "This is probably what it's like to go to Game Seven of the World Series in Yankee Stadium." Everyone there was so into it and so knowledgeable but as we talk about a little bit more like this is this isn't even like that because those are now to the point where it's like corporate corporations own all the tickets so the real fans don't get to go to game seven of the world series there was like it seemed like 200,000 real fans and uh, I don't know the number wasn't actually anywhere near that high but there were just people everywhere and everyone was so into it and so excited and so, like, just watching the race, you know, we go to a lot of, I'm a huge sports fan, so we go to a lot of sporting events, and just being at a sporting event where everyone is watching, the action on the, that you're supposed to, that you paid money to get there is so rare that, um, that stood out. The, the best part, though, the part you never see, 100,000 people screaming the or singing the Italian national anthem at the top of their lungs the Air Force fly over you don't even know that happens but that was right there that was worth the trip MotoGP in Italy is so much passion um, that was one of the highlights was just to be at the track with 80,000 Italians or plus and just to see the incredible passion and intelligence they have for the sport um, obviously uh, Rossi to listen to the announcers and the first time you hear them say Valentino Rossi and I also learned that he is a Luke Skywalker Luke Skywalker um, but yeah very intelligent fans extremely passionate um, it was tremendously amusing to watch the re crowd reaction when Marquez went off the track 
Uh, <laughs> again, just sensory overload. Nothing like going to races in the States. But when it comes to MotoGP Mugello, it is indescribable. You've never experienced 100,000 people all focused on the same thing. But most importantly, you feel like you're a part of something. Like, you know, you're standing beside, yeah, of course, Italians, but you're also there with Australians and Brits and Germans. And it doesn't matter where you're from, you're all part of something big. And to watch the riders, like everybody can appreciate it. Everybody just soaks it in. And the energy there is outstanding. And that's for two days straight. Like, it's like you're living in a dream. You wake up in the morning and go, crap, I'm going to a MotoGP race today. It's like Christmas time for 48 hours straight. <laughs> we had awesome seats. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, when you told me where we were sitting in the Ducati stand, I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Lorenzo might not be my favorite guy, but when he comes up and plants the flag right in front of you after the end of the race, yeah. that was... That was very cool. So, what's the next step? Well, the next step is all about priorities. All right, it, you gotta choose what looks good to you, what tour you'd like to go on, and then you need to make a plan. You need to say, I'm going to set aside resources, or I'm gonna set aside time, I'm gonna make this a priority in my life, and I'm gonna do something amazing. Um, and surprisingly, a lot of our clients are not necessarily that wealthy. Most of them save for a year or two in order to make this happen. But again, it's all about uh, making a plan and making it a priority to come on the tour. Now, we encourage people to book anywhere from six months to a year uh, in advance, uh, especially for the MotoGP tour, because during MotoGP, uh, rental bikes are in short supply. So reserve early and get the bike you want. Uh, when you place your deposit of about 30%, that money goes to holding your bike and holding your rooms. Uh, once that happens, you'll start getting information from our operations department. Nancy will start sending you uh, questions and start sending you tips and making sure that uh, you've got all your documentation in order and insurances and everything. All that stuff will be arranged and taken care of. And then eventually the day will come. Your bags will be packed, your friends will be just livid with envy, your private car will be waiting for you in Rome to take you to the hotel uh, where you'll meet us. And so, until then, uh, from Nancy, Enrico, Franco, and myself, Cat McLeod, uh, we hope to see you there. Ciao.